polygon meaning and types of polygon before we understand what is the meaning of polygon let us understand something different have you heard of curves you must have heard you know so curves are something like this okay it could be something like this or it can be something like this now if you notice the difference between these three the first one starts from a point let's call this as starting point s and it ends at another point okay same is the case with the second one it has a starting point and it has a ending point right but in both these cases the starting point and the ending point are different so the starting point is here and the end point is here these kind of curves are known as open curves whereas if you notice in this particular case we started from this point let's call it as s we went around went around and came back and finished also at the same point so the starting and the end point are same s and e are same these kinds of curves are known as closed curve right again in case of curves there can be two situation let's say you have something like this and let's say you have something like this so what is the principal difference that you can see between these two if you see this curve there is no point where any part of curve intersect other so in this curve there is no part no single part of the curve which is intersecting the other part whereas if you notice here here there is a part where the curve intersects each other here it is intersecting here it is intersecting right so a curve in which there is no intersection is known as simple closed curve while this is not simple okay and now let us come back to what is the meaning of polygon you must be wondering why am i explaining you all these curves when what we are dealing with is a polygon a polygon is basically a simple closed curve okay which is made up of only line segments so instead of having these curves something like curly and curvy and all those things in a polygon what happens is it's made up only of simple lines so let us say for example you have a triangle okay so let's say you have a triangle a triangle is also a polygon why if you notice a triangle starts from one point goes to the let's say for example goes here goes here and goes here and it is made completely of sides so there is no intersection and there is no closed curve this is simply a side of a triangle so you have side let's call this a side a you have side b you have side c so it's a simply a closed curve which is made up only of line segments right let's take another example let's take the case of a quadrilateral so something with four sides is known as a quadrilateral four sides again this is a polygon it has four sides it's made up of four sides okay one Two, three, four. The most common quadrilateral that you will come across are rectangles and squares. 
right? Then depending on the number of sides, you have other quadrilaterals such as pentagon with five sides, hexagon with six sides, okay? Then heptagon with seven sides, octagon, eight sides, nonagon, and the pronunciation might be a little different depending on where on this earth you are located with nine sides and decagon with ten sides. So basically a polygon is a simply closed curve made up only of sides. You don't have something like this curves in a pentagon. It has to be a straight line. Right? <clears throat> 